Hi everybody, welcome to my bathroom. Today I'm going to show you how to do something that's not entirely glamorous or glamorous at all really. I'm going to show you how to replace the flushing handle and interior mechanism on a toilet. Occasionally these things break. When I'm talking about these things, I'm talking about these handles. Now this one didn't break bad, but it bothers my wife, so I'm going to fix it. You can see it actually just chipped right here. And that can be a sharp spot. So we're going to go ahead and remove this and replace it. You don't really need any tools for this operation, but if you do want some, you can wear some rubber gloves if you don't like getting your hands messy, but this is actually a clean part of the toilet to work on, so you don't have to worry about that. And you might want to get yourself a pair of pliers or a channel lock like I have. This just helps. Sometimes the old uh, uh, plastic nuts on the back of this handle will be a little tight, and that'll give it a little nudge, a little leverage. But you really can do this without any tools. So. All right, as far as toilet repairs go, this is not a big one, so this is a good one to cut your teeth on. First thing you're going to do is, this is heavy, pick it up with both hands and set it somewhere where it won't fall or break. We're going to take off the porcelain top, and that's going to expose the tank. Inside the tank, we see the uh, the mechanism that fills it. And most tanks do look like this. If it really grosses you out, you might want to pour some... Uh, vinegar in there or something uh, or they have cleansers that sit inside the back of the tank but they just look like this over time and you can see as I move this handle up and down that this black bar on the inside lifts a cork or a stopper in the bottom which causes the tank to drain and flush the tub so I need to remove this but the first thing you need to do to take this off is to remove the chain that connects this long arm to the stopper in the bottom. So I'm gonna adjust the tripod a little bit more. And if this crosses you out, well, you're not alone, but you can go ahead and get gloves or something. But I know it's clean water, so I'm just gonna lift this off. It's gonna flush. And you can see there's a little wire thing. It's like a, like a paper clip almost. I'm gonna let that drop down. And now I just have this plastic arm um, hanging freely. So you can take this thing off all the way, and by that, let me adjust the camera a little bit more. You can see right here, there's this plastic nut, basically, and you follow the old adage, righty tidy, lefty loosey. I'm going to go get a wrench, just because it's a little bit easier, and I'm going to turn this counterclockwise or left to loosen this so I can pull the thing out. There we go. Now I can do it with my hand. And you see that comes all the way to unthread the whole thing. And now I can pull this out. See the whole thing comes out like that. And you got to turn it around a little bit to work it out. By design, this should be below the water level, but if it's not, uh, you have to drain the, the toilet uh, tank a little bit. So I'm just going to slide this out, and now you can take this whole thing to the store. Any big box store will do, like a uh, even Walmart has something like that, uh, um, and get yourself a new one. Go to their plumbing supply, and like I did, here it is. Here is the new toilet tank lever with a chrome finish. It's the exact one that we had, so hopefully this one will last longer. Maybe this one just got a, a little manufacturing defect. But uh, this costs a grand total of about $5. Watching this, it's got the plastic nut, the lever, and the long arm that will attach to that paper clip, paper clip looking chain, and that'll be back in business. So I'll open this up. We'll be right back. Now we're going to position the tripod back in and we're just going to reverse the steps we did before. Take off the plastic nut. Slide it over the extension arm and then push this through that hole in the front of the tank. Work it around. And the last little bit of this lever I'm going to push in 
gently yet firmly, if that makes sense. I'm not going to make any sudden movements and break the plastic, but push it in. It's kind of got a square receptacle for this particular design that holds it in place. And now I'm going to take that plastic nut, slide it back over that arm, and first tighten it with my fingers, which is probably adequate. I'm just going to give it another quarter turn with the uh, channel lock. And there we go. And the last thing to do, again, if you don't like the touch in the water, get yourself a nice pair of gloves. I'm going to reach in, grab that chain, and attach it to the arm. Now you can see this arm. Here's the other one. It has one, two, three, three different holes, and also a spot up here that you could use to mount that chain. And each one will give a little bit different uh, tightness on the chain to adjust it. So I'm going to reach in, grab it. That is ice cold water. Pull it up. And this chain piece is also adjustable, but I'm going to see if I can get it on there. Boy, you wouldn't believe how cold that is. I might flush it accidentally while I'm doing this. Okay, I am. It's flushing again. Just going to put this paper clip like hook on the switch on the arm. We'll let it fill up and I'll come back and try it out. Okay, once you clip that uh, chain, that little paper clip, onto the arm, you're essentially done. All that really remains is for you to test it to make sure it operates the way you want. So we're going to go ahead and back up a little bit and open this. How exciting. Okay, that operated the way it was supposed to. The bag looks all right. I'm gonna refill. The chain is still on there. If I move this, see the arm. So this is really about the simplest toilet replacement part you can do. You don't really get messy. Um, but if you've never seen it done before, it's always good to watch someone else do it and explain a couple of the tips. Now all you really have to do is put the top back on. Put your obligatory Kleenex on the back. And here's the most important part. Stay up here for about an hour just relaxing and then go down and tell your wife that you finally fixed it and it was really difficult, but uh, she's got a great husband or not. That's it. Thanks for watching.